In this video, we're going to be learning how to make a scatter plot in Microsoft Excel and also get the slope and uncertainty associated with the slope from that plot. Okay, so the first thing we can do is highlight the data that we want to include in our plot. So here's a whole bunch of data right here, but we're only interested in this case in uh, mass and grams and then the period that we record it squared. One second, there we go. And I'm going to hold Command or Control and highlight a second column. Now we're going to go to Insert. And then this little picture here is the scatter plot. Okay, so there's our graph. And the first thing we want to do is just set the axis. We do that by right-clicking on the axis itself, Format Axis, and we're going to set a minimum for the data value just below uh, the lowest value in our x-axis here. And that graph looks pretty good right there. Okay, so the second thing we want to do is add a title. And this graph is mass versus period squared. Okay, and now to add labels, to each axis, we need to go up to Add Chart Elements, Axis Titles, Horizontal, and just double clicking to highlight the axis title. We're going to call this Mass and Grams. Okay, we're going to add a vertical axis title, and this is Period Squared seconds. Okay, so I'm going to move the graph over here, make it a little bigger. Okay, now we're going to click on the graph, right click, or sorry, we're going to click on some data, right click, and we're going to add a tread line. There we go. Now if we want to know um, the slope, we can hit display equation on chart. And the slope is the data point right below the x. This is the equation for the line. OK. Now, what we don't know is the uncertainty associated with this slope. So I'm on a Mac, so this is a little bit different on a PC. But what you're going to have to do is go up to Tools, Add-ins, and click the An Analysis Tool Pack option here. OK, after you've done that, when you hit Data, you'll have this data analysis button show up here. So we're going to click that. We're going to click regression. Okay. It's going to ask us for an X and Y input range. So it's starting with Y here, and that's our period squared. Our X axis is our mass. Here we go. And we're just going to click OK. Now, Excel has just created a whole new sheet. I'm going to call this Analysis. And we can go back to our original page. And under Slope, just hit Equals. Go to the Analysis page. And this value here is your slope. And the uncertainty associated with the slope is this number right here. Another thing you'll need to add to your scatter plot are the error bars associated with your measurements. So the way to add the error bars uh, is as follows. So you want to click on a data point. Click on this point right here. Let's go back to our chart design. Add chart element. I'm going to add some error bars. And let's just add the standard error bars first. And these ones aren't the ones we're ultimately going to use. But then what we can do is click on the error bars right here. Let's double click to get the format error bars to come up. And we're going to create a custom error amount and we're going to specify the value and we're going to set um, these are the vertical bars so the positive bars to uh, sorry the error associate associated with our measurement here we're going to set the negative direction to the same amount because it's plus or minus this value Just gonna hit enter and OK all right, and now for the horizontal error bars here, and now for in our case, these are pretty small, so they're pretty much going to disappear, but that's okay. Specify the value, 
That's these guys. So, since you can't see the error bars for the mass because they're so small, what you want to do is just add a comment. And the way that we can do that, at least the easiest way anyway, is to go insert text box. I'm going to draw that text box on the graph. And you're going to say comment um, uncertainty for mass equals plus or minus. 0 0.1 grams. And we can put that down here. There we go.